Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Oh Shit with Art Resin. Today we're going to talk about milky resin. It happens for one of two reasons, moisture and temperature. Today I'm going to show you what to look out for and how to prevent it. So here we have some resin. It's not at optimal temperature. It's basically cold, like that cold bitch he left me for. And as you can see, it's super thick, super duper thick. So I'm going to show you what happens when I catalyze both resin and hardener together. I'm just going to pour it into the cup. You know you're not at the right temperature because even as you're pouring, the resin is coming out in clumps. There are a whole ton of tiny micro bubbles that are getting trapped in the resin as I catalyze it. And they just seem to be multiplying and multiplying the longer I stir and catalyze the resin. And that's what gives you the milky look and texture to the resin. So now I'm going to pour this resin onto the piece. And as I'm pouring it, there's still tons of tiny micro bubbles that are still trapped into the resin. So I'm going to try and take the torch and do my best to try and pop all the bubbles out. And as you can see, as I'm torching, all the surface bubbles have popped, but underneath there's still tiny micro bubbles that are still trapped underneath the resin. At the end of the day, torching may remove most of the bubbles, but there is a chance your piece may cure with tiny micro bubbles underneath the surface because the resin was not at optimal working temperature. Oh my God, my eyes are watering. My God. Another reason why your resin might go milky is because moisture has come in contact with the resin. So you want to make sure the environment that you're working in is as moisture free as possible and that your mixing utensils and your vessel are absolutely dry and pristine. In order to prevent milky resin, you're going to want to work in a warm environment. Here in the studio, we work with space heaters to keep us cozy and the resin cozy too. You can also do a quick fix by putting your resin in a warm water bath. Ideal working temperature for art resin is between 72 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. It's basically room temperature. As you can see, this doesn't have that milky look and texture to it. We've warmed it in the water bath and it doesn't have as many tiny micro bubbles as the cold resin that wasn't at optimal temperature. And when we pour this over our piece, the torch will easily pop all of the bubbles out. So basically, if you take the time to make sure that your resin is at optimal working temperature and you're working in a moisture-free environment, you're not gonna get milky resin, people. So remember that tip, and we'll see you next time for another episode of Oh with Art Resin. Stay tuned for our next installment of our Oh series to help you with all of your screw-ups when using Art Resin.